relationships past at Cape Town with Victoria's Secrets at the Alexander Bar Theatre. That's on Friday and Saturday from the 14th to the 16th of August. Leonardi delves into the immortal secrets of relationships and this one-man show might have all the answers for those who are fascinated by this kind of topic. He joins me now in the studio. Victoria, good morning. Welcome. Morning. It's nice to be here. Okay. Let's, let, let's get it. Let's just get the cat out of the bag. <laughs> what makes a man write about relationships and then share his pain and heartache uh, well, yeah. and experiences with everybody? I think comedy comes, uh, a, a comedy comes from pain. I mean, the, the, the formula is um, pain plus time equals comedy. So it's, <laughs> okay. that's always been the thing. But I mean, what's, what happened with me was I had these various things happen to me through life. And as I started talking about them on stage, people come to you after the show and say, oh, no, this thing happened as well. And it, it's, it's all about the fun of it, I think. Uh, we deal with pain through laughter it's just it's the standard human condition and it's fun yeah the perspective here though because you know it, it and I don't know if your story we all have a unique story mm -hmm. but whatever it is relationships is a very emotive issue oh yeah talk to me about from the how you were tackled this topic when you sat down and decided okay I'm gonna pen this and I'm gonna perform this well what ended up happening was I, I was single I had been single for a while uh, in 2007, I went through quite a rough breakup and I'd been with the person for two and a half years. After that, all the relationship materials started coming out because after time you start introspect being introspective and go, okay, that was odd and that was strange. And it's, every now and again, I was lucky this didn't happen to me, but I had a friend tell me, is it, is it, you know, what happened to him was that six months after the relationship ended, all the stories started coming out of wow. why he shouldn't have been with them in the first place. Which and the friends knew. Yes, the friends know. They said, yeah. oh no, dude, you, so you're lucky you're not with her anymore because she, she, was, she was just doing horrible things. And I was like, <laughs> and you felt the reason you didn't volunteer this information was uh, and that that's one of the things that I write about and just odd things that I've, I've seen well odd to me anyway that I've seen at weddings Share one. well for example the veil I've never understood the point of the veil but originally it was it's not like they're going is this what you ordered <laughs> so the guy sitting there with a receipt going oh, I don't know it looked different on eBay um, my favorite, take it back yeah it's, it's the thing I says let me see the teeth yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah, you're right. In actual fact, it's not like you don't know who the person is you're going to marry. Yeah, What's the point of the veil? It's a case of um, the society now is you try before you buy. It's not a case yeah. of um, where they go, ta-da! <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> and you go, oh, it's, that's what I thought I was getting, something else. <laughs> and it's, so it's that and just wanting to share it with people. What are the, uh, look, in your, in your, in your write-up, you talk about the immortal secrets. What are some of the um, secrets that you've <laughs> uncovered in relationships? Uh... One of the things I have noticed is that human beings are going to lie to each other. It's just the degree to which we lie. Also, men should be prepared for being asked questions yeah. that we didn't study for and we didn't know the answer to. Men know one answer. What is the craziest lie? Okay, before you talk about what is the what's the what's the one answer? What's the one answer? Well, it's the the, the we men have studied for one question. Does yeah. this dress make me look fat? The correct answer is no. Okay. Very simple. No, never throw um in there because um, you yeah. may as well drag yourself outside and throw yourself under a car to save time. Just go, uh, does this stress make me look fat? No. No. Yeah. And leave. You look great. And walk. And you you're gone. Great. You're fine. Yeah. At that point, you may as well do a victory dance. Yeah. You're actually right. It, you, to, to, to say it, no is leaves it, okay, oh, uh, ends the conversation, but to add something opens the conversation <laughs> yeah. further. It's just if the it's, start of you look argument. great, then it's why am I not looking fantastic? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So be careful of usage of adjectives. It's the, the adjectives can get you into so much trouble. Says, you look great. Says, and as you said, it's, why not fabulous? Says, <laughs> well, the previous outfit you had, that had a touch of fabulous, but not with those shoes. Yeah. They, but there's that fine line, just so how just much metro... So continues, continues. So how how is your, pers your perspective changed now? Because you're in a relationship now. Yes. Do you yeah. feel horrible when you're on stage and you're looking no. at your lovely <laughs> partner and you realize you're in a fantastic relationship well, now, but you're complaining about what happened But before. the thing is, more, more than once, it's, uh, my lovely lady, it's Claire, Claire says, uh, she, after a show, it happens more than once, people say... Is that stuff about it? No, it's not about me. It's, <laughs> and she's it's not about my courage. It's not, not, not about me, not at all. I mean, when I talk about her specifically, it's the stuff very much later in the show where it's things that have happened with us now, mm. where, again, I get asked Does questions. Does she appreciate you um, um, airing your dirty laundry? 
Well, you know, it pays the bills. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that, it depends on what laundry I air. I usually fly whatever material I'm going to do past her. She's my vetting process. And Claire's been with me now for two and a half years. And so she's been to a lot of the gigs. She no, knows a lot of the comedians. So she'll watch this stuff and go, yeah, that's correct. That's, that, that works. Try this differently. Talk to me about the feedback that you get, Victoria. Because, I mean, you are talking about something that, whether we want to admit it or not, we all have yeah. a skeleton, a relationship skeleton. I, I, I've had people come up to me after the show and confess things to me that I just, I, I just wanted to say to them, I, have, you f have you checked this with your partner before you tell me stuff? And like one of the stories a mate of mine told me was that after he took a girl out on a date, he had no intention of doing anything or wasn't planning anything. He just, you know, nice person, asked them out on a date. And he took her out and they went out, the movie, dinner, the whole thing. It was, no, it was lunch. It was a movie and lunch. And afterwards, she, said, she gave him the Let's Be Friends speech. And he just stopped in his tracks, at which point he said, no, actually, I think I take offense to this. And apparently he said to her, he says, you want a friend? Get a dog. Yeah. And then he drove home. <laughs> to this day, he says he doesn't know how she got home. But he says at that point, he's like, no, nah, I'm done here. Time to go. What's the common thing? I mean, and obviously performing this, you've now performed this in, uh, in Johannesburg and it now goes to Cape Town. But yeah. what, is, what is the feedback been from the Johannesburg audience? Because what is the one thing that you've maybe said in your, in your one-man show that everybody that, or a grouping of people have come back and said that is so true or that, it, that I don't agree with? There's, well, the, the one that it seems to get one of the biggest reactions is, again, when I talk about weddings, is that the number one song that always gets used when the father of the bride dances with a newly married bride, number one song, is almost always Butterfly Kisses. <laughs> and it's the, it's the song as she had butterfly kisses after bedtime prayers. And that song is fine. Up until the one lyric that makes absolutely no sense. It goes, you know, I really love you, daddy. But if you don't <laughs> mind, I'm only going to kiss you on the cheek this time. What exactly does she mean this time? <laughs> what is going on in that house? She so come on, give your daddy a kiss, baby. I can, daddy. I'm married now. No, now you're just playing hard to get, baby. And that, for some reason, I've seen, I've had one woman go, you've ruined that song for me. I said, well, I didn't write it. I just pointed something out. <laughs> okay, Victoria Leonardo. Leonardo, very funny. That show goes uh, to Cape Town from the 14th to the 16th of August. You can catch so much more about this amazing show. That's where we leave it for now.